What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm sure many of you already know that the highest percentage of millionaires in the world are made up of people who invested in property assets, which begs the question whether the quote unquote easiest way to become a millionaire is by investing in property. And if that is the case, what is the best easiest, maybe lowest risk way to do that. Well, today we're going to be talking about property investment company Storage, breaking down their company and financials. And by the end of the video, we'll be purchasing some of their shares in real time. So let's get started. First of all, let's get the elephants out of the room because I've just said investing in property and then I talked about buying shares in a property company. Now why is that? Well, there are two reasons. The first is that more often than not, buying property can take a lot of capital. Not always, but between deposits, transfer fees, bond costs, and maybe even renovations, it can take a lot of money to start with. I've done it myself and not everyone has that right under their couch. The second reason is risk. I actually work in the property investment industry and I can tell you that in residential property, it's possible that you buy a house or apartment and rent it out only to have a tenant not pay you and it can take up to six months to legally get them out, not to mention tens of thousands at least in legal fees and sheriffs to do it. So to do it properly, you'd want to be able to make an investment in multiple units so that not all your eggs are in one basket and even then that would cost multiply substantially more and if you can do that awesome go for it but today let's chat about if you have even 100 rand up to a few thousand and beyond and how you can make some good solid returns for the rest of your life so that brings us to today's company storage now storage is not your typical property company because they invest in purely self-storage facilities here in south africa and in the united kingdom so the reason why that is important is because it's the only one of its kind on the JSE and it's a very stable and lucrative industry if done right. Now since COVID, residential has come under pressure, shopping centers lost foot traffic and offices are struggling because people are working from home and don't need as much office space. But when the economy is booming, people need storage to store all of their extra stuff. And when it's going down, people need storage because they're likely downsizing. So it's shown to be a very resilient asset class in a number of economic conditions. And the most important thing, for me at least, is that they pay really great dividends twice a year. And that since I've owned their shares in June 2019, they've never missed one and they keep on growing just this last year, their dividends grew by 8% from the year before during COVID. So let's take a look through some of their graphs and facts, then we'll get through to buying the shares. First, the graphs. Just take a look at that maximum graph, a thing of beauty. Since they listed in 2016, they've gone up by 51%. Now the amount isn't massive, but the consistency is incredible. So the last five years, 24%, the last year, 8%, and that dip right at the end is why I bought a bit more. And at the time of buying on the 1st of March, the dividend is over 8% right, and right now about 7.7%. .7%. Most dividends for the JSC for banks and other companies are around 2 to 4%. Okay, so let's get into some stats of the business. Storage has 76 properties spread between South Africa and the United Kingdom, very well diversified, with more to come in its SA and its UK pipelines that are shown here. So the South African property market has not done well the last four years, many companies losing 40 to 60% of their value. So this steady growth has really been great. Just take a look how it compares to the South African property index since it listed. It's also increased its portfolio size from 1.3 billion Rand in 2016 to 8 billion Rand in 2022. Now, all of this with a loan to value ratio, which is basically how much it owes versus how much it owns of 25%. Now, I must tell you, most listed property companies have around 45%, some up to 75%. So that's much better than most and bears well against others with potential interest rate hikes coming this year. So let's take a look through some recent financials. All right, 
In the SA market, its rental income on a like-for-like -like basis is up by 32 million rand since this time last year. Its expenses are only up by 2 million rand. So its net income, which is income minus expenses, is up by 30 million rand or a bit over 10%. In the UK market, its rental income is up by 700,000 pounds or 14 million rand. Expenses only up by 100,000 pounds or 2 million rand. So net income overall with a couple of others is up by 700,000 pounds, 14 million rand or 8%. And consolidated, which is all income and expenses in total, its net profit is up 14% from the previous year in a group, and this is during COVID times. So in terms of its balance sheet, the most important number to look at is net asset value per share, which is basically all assets minus all liabilities per share that you own. Now this has gone up from 11.19 million Rand to 12.64 million Rand. So the overall value per share is up 13%. All right, so let's do it the casual cash way and tell you how much I've made from this share. Well, since buying in June 2019, for a total of 8,062 Rand, they have paid dividends every six months religiously for a total of 1,914 Rand and 63 cents, which is 24% of the total purchase price just in dividends. So with that being said, the markets are in a dip, so let's get to buying some additional shares. All right, we're going to use Easy Equities. We're gonna to go to our share and go to buy more. We're putting in 2,007 Rand and 49 cents so that it covers the fees for an even 2,000 Rand exactly. We're gonna click buy now and there you go. We've got some extra storage shares at 8% dividends a year. And as of writing this, the share price has already gone up 2%, which is great. And I look forward to share price growth and dividend income for years to come. But that's it for today's episode, guys, where we broke down what is, in my opinion, one of the best property investments in South Africa right now. But make sure you research what you need to on your side if you're considering it for your own portfolio and if it is indeed the right investment for you. So I hope you enjoyed this and please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel for videos like this and much more. But until then, I'll see you guys next time on Casual Cash. Cheers.